In this one, we are going to play with the worst team in the game on the worst pitch in Cricket 24 as well. And we are going to be trying to chase 122 against India who have four spinners. But they are going to start with their lone pacer, Mohamed Shabi. And that was first ball bouncer. Wow. You don't see that often in a test match. Why did I miss that ball? I played it well enough. I was on the back foot, pulled it, timed it, but still got an under edge. Denmark is the lowest rated team in the entire game. So this is going to be a nightmare of a challenge. And he is pulling. I mean, that ball, I couldn't even see that ball. That's how fast it was. This time played it very, very early. And it was a little bit straighter as well. Close run there. On the pads, a flick. Now the real challenge begins against Spain. I think that is the first time in Cricket 24 that a sweep shot has worked. I played the sweep a lot in 22 and games before that. But this is the first time it has come off in this game. I'm going to try to sweep a lot here. If it's outside the line, I'm going to try to sweep. Oh, that was a top spinner there. Went for the drive. It was just not there. But it goes in between the keeper and second slip. Second or third slip. And it will run away for four. That was beautifully bowled there. Look at that. Top spinner. Bounces a little bit more even on this dead wicket. And we've gotten off to a good start. Eight for no loss after 1.4. Oh, there we go pace on this end so I'm gonna have to try to be as aggressive as possible went for the drive and he's dropped an absolute sitter first of all why did I edge that ball ideal timing at least the game tells me but I still managed to edge it that was a sitter but he's managed to drop it now the entire leg side region is free but let's see where he bowls he bowls outside the off stump well don't worry if you drop a catch. The very next ball, I'm going to give you another chance. That's exactly what I did there. Once again, good timing, but it just does not seem to matter. Edge that and we lose our first wicket. In a very, very weird way. Shot. Pulled. I don't know how that ball bounced that much. I mean, he is bowling at a lot of pace. And because of that, that ball will fly away to the boundary. Nice and short. But not too short. Full now and punts down the ground. All three greens perfectly played that. But he doesn't even cross the 30 yard circle. I don't know if that's an indicator of how bad this pitch is. Or how bad this team is. Almost got bowled around my legs. That was some shit more like bowling. But thankfully it didn't turn enough to clip the leg stump. Much better ball. Horrific shot. I don't know what that was. At least I didn't get out there. Went for the sweep again. There we go. That's what happens when you try to sweep a lot in this game. I mean the whole point of the sweep is you get, get your body behind the shot. So if you, even if you miss you have a second line of defense. But in, instead of standing his ground he just goes outside the off stump. Exposes his stump. Dumb shot. That will cost us our second wicket, 14 for 2. Once again, the ball just does not seem to go anywhere. Just a single, even against space and just not able to score. And we are still almost 110 runs away, flicked. This should be at least 2 if we run really hard. Oh boy, this can be close, but we'll make it. Scoring at a run rate of 3.64, that is impressive for sure. We've been trying to score every chance we get but we've not been getting a lot of chances good leaves there that ball came back in but still well left in the end maybe I could have gone for a cover drive but I know exactly how that would have ended smothered the spin there nice long stride and defended well now he loops the ball up even more. That was a full toss and I was late on it as well. I'm being too defensive against Spain. I'm going to have to try to be aggressive. Let's play it. Oh boy. How many times did I say yes and no there? I mean the bowler should have stopped it. Then mid-on should have stopped it. But no one did. And I just kept saying yes and no. 
But in the end, we will get through for a single. And there we go. There's the trademark pounds from this kind of wicket. Absolutely zero. That ball skidded on. Almost stuck onto the wicket. Again, beautifully bowled. Perfect line and length. But at least we managed to block it nicely. Just the one run of this over. I don't know where I'll score or how I'll score against spin. Oh, that was time beautifully, man. That was a certain boundary, but he puts in the time and stops it. And now we are up against pace once again. Punch down. This is going to be tight. Actually not. Quick running there. Well, now our run rate is where it should be. 2.92. We are in the middle of a struggle here. Short. I don't know how the ball is bouncing this much. That was a close run, but I think even with a direct hit, we would have made it. See how far the ball is bouncing. Three runs of this over. We need boundaries at least on this end against pace. Again, short delivery that almost stuck onto the ground. Did not get up at all. I mean, I should just forget about playing on the back foot. But sometimes the ball is bouncing and sometimes it's doing this. Ah, it's been hit down the ground. I mean, I had to. I had to find some way to score a boundary. I thought I would just take on the full flight of delivery and try to hit a boundary down the ground. But look at how badly I timed that. Full again, this time quicker through the air. Gets the edge and it just flows off for four. That was a quick ball. That's the only reason I got four there. Well, we need some luck our way. Actually, more than a little luck. Another 100 runs to go against this bowling lineup, edged and doesn't carry. That was inches away from being another wicket. Now they are going to introduce some left arm leg spin. There we go. That is just... I mean, how do you even play that ball? Pitches on leg stump, I think, and then spins all the way to about fifth stump. I played according to the line, but of course, too much turn. Flights it up, went for the drive. Aggressive shots, defensive shots, lofted shots. Nothing is working against spin. Good leave. That was a good leave. A brave leave actually because that pitched on middle stump, I think. But picked that out of the hand. If that was a googly or a straight ball, it was over. But we picked it out of the hand and it was a leg spinner. Swept. Another sweep that connects. That ball, that ball just stopped. That ball just did not go anywhere. That's how badly I am playing here. I mean, how do you play a shot like that? And the ball just stops. Look at that. It wouldn't go anywhere. 9.2, 27. Actually, not bad. I'm scoring at three runs and over. That's been flagged. Finally, some good timing and some placement. But we'll only get two for that. We've already lost two wickets to spin and they have only introduced half their spinners. And he's giving me full tosses here and there for some reason. I'm still not hitting boundaries. I'm gonna stand outside the off stump. Hopefully get outside the line if there's an LBW. There we go. Off the pad it came. Nice stride. Spins back in. Went through the bat I think. Yes, the ball went through the bat. Tossed up very, very over pitched. But of course, we just cannot seem to time the ball any better than that. Oh, straight over one. Slider maybe slides through. No answers, of course. There we go. This is just a different level of cricket and we have absolutely no answers. That was an inch away from the edge. And I end up missing a straight ball. That ball did not bounce one bit. It took forever to come. I just have to try to play as straight as possible. Cannot be playing shots across the line. Because if I'm early or late, my stumps will be on the ground. Lovely shot. Where did that come from? But it still won't go for four. At least let that go for four, man. Why do you have to put a dive in, destroy a... Dreams. Looped up. I've gone for it. 
is waiting for anything fall and fly it up this time it pays off it was there to be hit and it just swung through the line we'll get a nice boundary that will i mean that did give us a lot of confidence maybe we can do that another four or five times and we will be close to the target because it's not that far away only 80 runs but we've lost four wickets that's the problem what happened there a big appeal but i think i got some bat on it let's have a look pitch is on the crack bad first but i think the extra bit of spin saved me if it was a normal pitch i think that would have been crashing onto the leg stump but here it's just just too much turn that was a slider quick through the air beats the outside edge we don't know which way the ball is turning or how fast it's going to be and when that happens you just keep playing like that once again i don't think i did anything wrong it was there to be driven timed it well enough but still found the edge and gone well we've lost 5 now and it's just looking like it's over nicely played but when i nicely played it just do doesn't go i don't even know why they have fielders at the deep that's been hit straight that is the shot of the inning so far straight as an arrow once again tossed up this guy is picking the ball and hitting it for force that is his second boundary look at that loop top and it was nice and full as well so just swung through the line for four Keegan on 13 of 37 the only man who has managed to just grind out here Ah, that is top class. You just—I mean, how is a team who's not even—I don't think Denmark has ever played a test match supposed to face balls like that? Pitches and then turns and turns and turns and turns and hits middle stump. How is that even possible? It's again quicker through the air once again. This time the fielder will cut it off. Only two runs. Well I'm just going to have to attack whenever there's a chance. There we go. And once again that is his third boundary and this might actually be the best of them all. Time to perfection but it still won't go for 6. At least we'll get 4. Well, three amazing shots in I think 6 overs. Maybe we can keep this going. Went for another one. Maybe a fraction too late. 50 for 6. 72 runs away and now he's giving the ball so much air the ball is taking forever to come to this end and one ball is just bowled an arm ball and i will be about 15 minutes late on that and we'll get out lbw or bold yeah as soon as i say that there we go that is an example so quick and i was so late again over pitch Nicely played one of the better shots in this innings that will get us two runs as well. Had to put in the dive cannot afford run outs on this pitch it's already hard to bat we cannot give them any gifts. Went for the flake leading edge and that that might actually be a drop catch at silly point. Tosses the ball up nicely turns it sharp turn leading edge tough catch but should have been probably taken but well we'll take it four wickets left oh, try to smash that over extra cover but maybe a little far away that's been hit down the ground have i got it enough no i have not well that's the only shot that has worked and given us runs but this time Maybe it just did not have enough on it. Another one gone, seven gone, and the lone man walks back in. I mean, he scored 17 runs, and I don't think anyone else has crossed double digits. So one man left. He's played three amazing shots. Can we play some more? Well, that was not an amazing shot, but it will get us runs nonetheless. Another two. Yep. Punch beautifully. Oh, that might actually have gone for four. But the fielder was in between the boundary and the ball. Looped up again, another amazing shot. This time, the placement on that, wow! I mean, we might have found a gem right here. Through midwicket, it was slightly 
straighter on the pads and we managed to pick it find the gap as well in between mid in between mid on and square leg that was beautifully played there we go i can afford to play drives on, on short deliveries because the ball is not going to carry anyway go short again i drive and of course the ball is rolling on the ground like a snake we are still scoring a three runs and over that is actually very impressive i don't know how that has happened maybe because of the huge number of wedges now they are appealing him clearly outside the off stump Oh, how did that miss everything? That missed the bat, that missed the stump. It might have actually gone through the stumps. Once again, pitches on middle and leg, turns a lot and misses the off stump by an inch or two. Well, India's fourth spinner has come in and he joins the party as well. That's got to be out. That looked, wait, not out? Well, please don't review it. That looked plumb in front. Oh, this, this is gone. That is like the fourth LBW appeal in this over and he finally gets one decision his way. Wait, why didn't I review that? I mean, that might be, the impact might be umpire's call or something like that. Let's have a look. That was a straight ball, didn't turn. That might actually be going down the leg side. No, it's not. How is that umpire's call? That ball isn't even touching the stump. Another one gone. We just two away now. But well, one man is still fighting. Let's go 24. Well, we need a miracle here. Another 60 runs. That looks so far away. Tossed up. I went for another shot straight down the ground. And after four really good shots, this one just does not come off. Played on the wrong line. And we'll pay with our wicket. Well, now all hope is officially lost. And now I think the match is done as well. That's probably out. Yes, it is. We are all out for 65 and they win by 60 runs. That was not even close. We were outclassed from the first or second over. After that, we just had no clue. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see T10 action on the worst pitch in Cricket24, click the video on screen. For now, like, comment and subscribe for more Cricket24 videos and updates. Thanks for watching and have a great day wherever you are.